for the example of saints. I desire to join in their company, worshiping you forever in heaven. Please help me to follow their footsteps on yours, Jesus Christ. Please help me to confirm myself to your image, seeking your will in all things as the saints did. Please help me to devote myself in all that I do, to your glory and to your service of my neighbors. Amen. The Feast of All Saints Every day in the church calendar has a saint day. Example, St. Patrick's Saint Day is on the 17th of March. But the solemnity of all saints is when the church honors all saints, known and unknown. While we have information about many saints, and we honor them on specific days, there are many unknown saints who may have been forgotten or never been especially honored. On All Saints Day, we celebrate these saints who are all in heaven and we ask for their prayers and intercessions. Remembering saints and martyrs and celebrating their lives on a particular day each year has been a Christian tradition since the 4th century and the In 1837 AD, Pope Gregory the Fourth extended the festival to remember all the saints, changed its name to the Feast of All Saints, and fixed the date to November 1st. Communion of Saints The whole idea of All Saints Day is linked with the belief of the communion of saints. This is the belief that all of God's people on heaven, earth, and in the state of purification called purgatory are linked together in all communion. In other words, we believe that the saints of God are just as alive as you and I and are constantly praying before God interceding on our behalf. All Souls Day All Souls Day is marked on the 2nd of November directly after All Saints Day and is an opportunity for us to remember, commemorate and especially to pray for those who have died who are not yet in heaven. Some souls have died without being fully ready to meet God. We call the place where these souls are Purgatory. Purgatory is a place or state where we get cleaned up before entering into the presence of Almighty God. Just like the saints in heaven pray for us on earth and their prayers benefit us. So the prayers and masses we offer are of help to the souls in purgatory. In November, we often attend the graces of our loved ones who have died and prayed for them. We can light a candle in a church for our loved ones. We can think about happy times we spent with our loved ones and thank God for them. We may have a mass offered up for intentions of the holy souls. In school, we may have a, a remembrance corner where we can put memorial cards for of relatives who have passed away and pray for them during our school assembly or during our day and ethics in our classroom. Dear Holy Saints of God, we join our prayers of praise to yours this day. With you, we sing of God's goodness, rejoice in God's mercy, and celebrate God's incredible love. Teach us to live as you live, always thinking of others, always recognizing our weaknesses, always rejoicing in God's gifts, always closely following Jesus. Blessed are you, happy are you, all you Holy Saints of God. Pray for us that we too may someday be among God's holy ones. Amen.
Thank you.